guys, it's Shanta with Creating Beauty, and I'm coming to you this Thursday um, for Mineral Magic Cosmetics, doing a kind of spring summery um, 80s on crack, yet blended, bold and fabulous, if that makes any sense. So if you'd like to see how I created this look with pigments, then please do stay tuned. Okay, so the look I'm going for today is a blended yet bold look and as far as colors and such. So I went ahead and started with a nice clean surface and used Mineral Magic Cosmetics in light beige. Use that all over my, my face, my eyes, everywhere, just kind of blank out the canvas. And now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to give some shape to my crease um, with a shade that's um, one to two shades darker than my eye shape or my skin tone because I don't want it to be too obvious. And I'm using matte Aztec. And this will give just enough color and depth in the crease. And kind of mark uh, where I want to go with my shadows. And I'm just taking Daylight Mica. A nice shimmery white, kind of almost a very light silver color. And this time I'm using a flat brush and gentle strokes starting from the inner corner. And bringing it out. And now I'm taking Ice Blue, and I did swatch this before, um, right there. It's a nice, almost gray, silver blue. And I'm gonna apply that towards the outer, not quite towards the outer. With gentle stroking motions. And just kind of placing that right there, right above the pupil and a little bit out. Now I'm taking some Rio, which is that nice purple right there with almost like a soft light blue duochrome. And I'm placing that on the outer corner and blending that in towards the blue. Taking more of that Rio on a blending brush rolled it into the lid, tapped off the excess, and then tapped it into the brush itself. And I applied it not on the tip, but on the product on the side of the brush. And just following the natural lash line and pressing it in for more pigmentation, I'm just going to kind of give the eye an uplifted effect. Nothing bold. Just soft and blended. And now I'm going to introduce the more bold color of the colors I've selected. And this is a mixture. And I did the individual swatches and the mixture on my hand. This is Daylight Mica. This is Elmo, which is a matte. And then this is Hot Pink, which is also matte. And then I combine them to make my own little concoction here. So I'm taking my pink concoction. It's kind of funny. On a fluffy brush, very pigmented, be very careful. And I'm gonna bring that in light dashing motions underneath the eye. And then I'm also going to bring it up into the crease. Now I'm using a fluffy angle brush, like a fluffy blending angle brush to do this. And this part you'll just have to take your time. And make sure it doesn't get anywhere that you don't want it since you already applied your foundation, at least I have. And I'm just slowly adding more pigmentation and using the angle brush to my advantage as far as eye shape and the direction I want the product to go. So basically I want more intensity 
on the outer corner. Just dabbing it. Kind of bringing it in a little bit. Soft blending motions. So we don't flick the product everywhere. And just rotating the brush so that you get the product exactly where you want it to go. I wanted even more pigmentation, so I took some more on the blending brush, tapped off the excess, and just going to tap that right on the areas where I want more pigmentation. And now I'm taking a dual fiber brush, I call it, but it's some people call it a skunk brush. And basically it's a dual fiber brush and meaning it has natural and synthetic hairs and this is where it gets fun and you can definitely overdo it so I like to start out by the hairline kind of get a feel of how much pigmentation I have on my brush and just blend it out now we're going to use this brush to softly blend out the other areas as well give it that nice airbrushed effect. And then I'm also going to take it here, right on the cheekbones, and underneath as well, and give it a nice fade inwards. And I'm taking some pink tourmaline, a nice shimmery, very, very light pink, like a baby pink, with the same fluffy brush. And I'm going to use this to help soften some of the edges as well as use it as my highlighter to bring out certain features. And then, once you've done all that, you can do with a clean brush and just softly blend it out even further. And now I'm just adding a little definition to my lash line and just give it a little bit more edge and taking a felt tip liner. I'm trying to do this so y'all can see it's so difficult to do and do it with a steady hand. I probably have one of the shakiest hands out there. Basically doing light little sketches. And then you could use a tip. And I'm just following the natural lash line initially. It's the best way to kind of see where you're going and build off of it. And then from the lower lash line, just using the tip. And just slowly bringing it in. Little sketching motions. And then just kind of start bringing it out a little bit at a time. Just basically following where your natural lash line wants to go. As you can tell, I'm taking my sweet time. And then once I got it where I want, start bringing it up and connecting it. Now I'm just taking what's left of that little concoction of the pigment and then just a little bit of um, lip balm. I find it's easier to apply pigments with um, some balm on the lips and then also mixing it in. Got the back of your hand, some balm with the leftover pigment. Make sure you blend it in really well. And, and you just apply it like lipstick.